Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Learn IT. Today we will be having another session for use case scenario for requirement fulfillment which we use in our day to day development activities. If you are new to the channel, please like, share and subscribe to my channel Learn IT. Please watch my videos till the end for complete information. So now let's see what is the use case for today. So we have to add our due date after 7 days from today under requested items in newly created field estimated date of delivery. Ok so now let's move further in my personal developer instance and see how we can implement this use case. So let's move further. As you can see we are now into our personal developer instance and now I will show you how we can implement this uh, use case. Ok so now let's move further and open our requested item tables so we can see there is one record existing in our system so now I will build some solution behind it so that our estimated date of delivery will be implemented ok now we can see we are having a due date but our customer asked one more field estimated date of delivery which is a purely date type field this is a date time field ok so now let's move further and try to create field here field name will be estimated time of delivery ok this field will be of type date let me add this field and I will add it in proper place ok now let's save it and now we can see our field is uh, started displaying here ok now let us build our logic ok let me copy this database field name ok now let me try to implement a solution so I will create business rule for this because I will be executing this uh, script on insert whenever any catalog item is created ok so I will create business rule before business rule so let me give a name update delivery date ok so now I will click on advance I will click on insert before insert I will execute this business rule ok and uh, yeah and I will write my code so you can see what I will write in this code ok so where let me create the code first and then I will explain you each of the line what I have written ok so now I will add ok current dot date time field I have a date field I have added here ok and now I will add this GT ok yeah now our script is completed it is a very simple script which I have written anybody can write and use in their code ok so yeah so this is done so this is the new glide date where it will fetch the current date what is the date today it will fetch and it will add number of days onto this uh, 
variable that is declared and then this variable will hold the value which is after seven days from today okay now let me try to save it and execute whether it is working or not okay so i think uh, we have already created this uh, vr now let us try to create requested item for apple ipad so this is the catalog item now i will click on order now and now you can see what is the date today today date is 16th but it is coming 23 because 7 days is added on to this estimated time of delivery right so if suppose some person wants to update current uh, due date field so they can do that also i will show you how we can do that okay let me try to update this script again what i will do is like i will copy same script and you can execute it on date time field like uh, i will re i will replace glide date with glide date time and i will clear the object and now here i will do gdt again and now i will change the field name to due date okay and this object okay now we we can see this both script is created and we can again execute this script whether it is working or not for certain catalog items okay so now let me try to create this item again and see whether our script is working fine or not okay now you can see uh, estimated time of delivery is set 23 and due date is also set 23 after 7 days okay now you can see when the ticket is opened 16 july 2022 7 16 so after exactly 7 days this value is populated okay so this is very small coding which you can do whenever it is required to add any day number of days on your due date or any field wherever you want to manipulate your dates okay so this is all about current use case okay please provide your comment if you have any questions doubts or queries related to this session for more information please visit description section under this video thanks for hearing me out stay tuned for more videos please do like share and subscribe to my channel learn it